Hi everyone, welcome back to vlog number 8. So, if you've been following our past two vlogs, yes. then you'll notice that we've been talking about a very specific topic that we've had loads of questions on, and this vlog today is going to be a continuation of that. So, we're talking about macronutrients so vlog number five was all about macronutrients in terms of what they are what they do and we helped you identify a few examples of each that we would recommend should be on your plate last week on vlog number seven we talked about how to calculate your calories because ultimately if you are trying to lose weight you need to be in what we call a calorie deficit that is when you are burning more than you are consuming or if you're trying to gain weight you need to be in a calorie surplus which means you are eating more than you are burning however your calories are an umbrella underneath that umbrella we have protein carbohydrates and fats and you should be having a specific amount of these in order for you to get to your goal so that is the objective of today right chef indeed so before we go into it um, and if this is the first vlog you've watched in the series so far maybe take a break go back and watch vlog number six and seven so that you have a good understanding of what macros are um, how they're worked out and then you can come back here and, and go through this part of it with us which is exactly knowing exactly how many of each type of macro to eat before we start grab your notes from last time because this is all going to make more sense to you make sure you've got your pen make sure you've got your paper and jot these things down so the first thing to note is that each gram of a macro is equal to a certain amount of calories so you'll have fats which are equal to a certain amount of calories so you'll have one gram of fat which is equal to nine calories you'll then have one gram of carbohydrates or one, one gram of proteins which are equal to four calories so if you followed vlog number seven then you would have seen in our calculation we spoke of an example of a, of a person who we had tried to base all of our calculations on so to keep things simple we've used the same example again this week of that gentleman who was to remind you guys 45 years old his height was 5 foot 10 and his weight was 90 kilos do bear in mind that all the advice we're giving you today is a great starting point it's obviously going to be impacted by your medical requirements your day-to-day -day requirements your likes your dislikes and just generally what's feasible but this is a really really good starting point so after we've done this calculation definitely try and re-watch this so you can implement your own statistics and find out the split that's correct for you so as a ballpark we often say to clients that a good way to start with your protein that's where everybody struggles is to try and aim for about one gram of protein per kilogram of weight so in this case this particular gentleman is 90 kilos so his grams of protein will be 90 grams so just like you average one gram of protein uh, per kilo of body weight with fats you would average 0.7 grams of fat to 1.2 so depending on your needs so for this example we've gone with averaging at 0.7 grams per kilo of body weight so in this example again our gentleman weighs 90 kilos so we would take 0.7 grams of fat and multiply it by 90 which gives us 63 grams of fats so once you've worked out your protein and your fats, then you can minus this from your daily caloric intake to find out how many carbohydrates are left and thus how many carbohydrates you should have. So this is where all the calculations come in. So we are basing this, as Shaf mentioned, on the gentleman's case study from last week, from vlog number seven. So this particular gentleman of what we worked out, his daily caloric intake in order to lose weight was 1,336 calories. Write that down for us, just so you can work through this with us. 1,336 calories. What we know so far is that this gentleman should be having roughly 90 grams of protein and roughly 63 grams of fat. We now need to work out how many carbohydrates he has available to him. First, need to understand how many calories has he consumed just by having protein and fats. We know how many grams of protein and fats he should be having, but we now need to convert that into calories. In order to work out how many calories are associated with fats, 
for this particular gentleman. All you need to do is times 63 times nine because there are nine calories per gram of fat. So 63 times nine is 567 calories. This gentleman requires 90 grams of protein. So we need to take 90 grams and multiply it times four, which then equals 360 calories. Remember for one gram of protein equals four calories, which is why you're going to times by four. Once we have done this, we then add 360 to 567. This will give you the total amount of calories this particular gentleman has consumed from only fats and protein. So remember, as we mentioned, this gentleman is supposed to have 1336 calories. We've just worked out that his protein and his fats now equates to 927 calories. So you'll take 1336 calories and minus 927 calories, which is now removed how many protein, how much protein and fats he's supposed to consume. The remaining amount of calories are then how many carbohydrates he's supposed to consume. So if we do 1,336, which is his total amount of calories, minus 927 calories, which is the total calories between fats and protein, that then makes 409 calories. It's equivalent to how many carbohydrates he should be having every single day. So just as before, where we times the number of grams, protein and fat, by their equivalent number of calories to make the total calories for that particular macronutrient, we now need to do the reverse. We know how many calories he's got left for carbohydrates, which is 409. So we now need to figure out how many grams of carbohydrates he should have. So simply all you do is divide this by four. Why? Because there are four calories per one gram of carbohydrates. And this makes... This makes 102 grams of carbohydrates. Presto! So this gentleman needs to have 1,336 calories, 102 grams of carbohydrates, 63 grams of fat, and 90 grams of protein in order to lose weight. To make life a little bit easier, as always, we're going to put the equations in the descriptions for you guys because we don't expect you to remember all of this. So you can refer back to the equations and break this down bit by bit as you watch this video. Also, just to let you know, there are some online calculators. So in case you don't want to work this out by hand, you can go on websites and find it out. Although, do beware that some websites aren't 100% accurate and some website calculations might be manipulated by what their school of thought is. So if they believe that you should be on a high protein diet, then they will fluctuate your macronutrient intake numbers in order to reflect that. Or if a particular website is a big fan of high fat and low carb it also mean that they might manipulate your figures to represent that so just be really really careful if i were you it's actually really easy to work out by pen and paper i'll be honest i'm not a numbers person this is where shaf comes in he's a numbers person all over i'm not and i still found this relatively simple to do once you get your head around the different calories per gram and you can actually sit down, have some focused, focused attention for maybe 15, 20 minutes and it's seamless. It will be such a good accomplishment that you can work it out. And remember, just keep pausing the video as you go along. Take the equations that we're going to put in the descriptions for you guys. Take your time with it and work it out. But once you work it out just once and have an idea of how to do it, you'll be really happy you did it. Now do remember, as we mentioned in the beginning of this video, these figures are not gospel. This is going to be highly influenced by your medical needs, your lifestyle needs, so on and so forth. So what we would recommend you do is be consistent and follow these figures for at least three to four weeks. Give it a real push. You can input these figures into different apps and calculators such as MyFitnessPal like we spoke about last week. Follow it regimentally. If after three to four weeks, you are still not seeing results, then you might want to manipulate these figures. You might want to maybe bring your calories slightly down, maybe even by 50 calories. Don't try and drastically drop it so that you're kind of under eating. Just drop it by 50 calories and then work out all of these macronutrient figures again and then you know test it for another couple of weeks and see where you're getting on. Remember, consistency breeds results. So you have to follow these figures completely regimentally in order for you to understand 
Is it working or is it not? As Snarly mentioned guys, this is just a guidance. So for example, if your protein count ends up as you requiring 93 grams of protein according to these calculations, don't find yourself fretting at the end of the day if you haven't met 93 grams exactly. You might get to 90 grams and then suddenly be losing sleep at night going, where's my other three grams of protein? And be on the hunt for some protein shake through the night. <laughs> You don't need to do that remember it's just a guidance get as close to the figure as you can but the idea is that it gives you guidance and allows you to understand your rough requirements and if you really do want a set figure then just aim for minus or plus five or ten so if you're like like chef said if your protein um, guideline is 93 and you get to 90 or even 89 88 that's okay don't worry about it if you go over that's okay too one thing we would like to add is whilst it's not a macronutrient, it is extremely important and this is fibre. Fibre is really, really important and we talked about fibre and its importance in vlog number six. So definitely go and have a look at that if you haven't already. But fibre is crucial. Women should be aiming for roughly 25 to 30 grams of fibre. Men should be aiming for 38 to 40 grams of fibre. So whilst you are on a mission to hit your macronutrients, do be on a mission to also hit your fiber intake because that is a fundamental crucial component to your health and well-being so this obviously is a bit more of a confusing vlog or maybe a bit more complex to understand so please please get in touch with us write comments send us questions we'll be happy to help where we can but in the meantime please like this video it means the world to us and of course please share it with your friends with your family anybody who is on a weight loss journey or a weight gain journey any kind of health journey actually just share it with them help them achieve results and of course please subscribe to the channel so you get regular updates of all our newest vlogs as well as all new things that we are up to at body plot See you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>